Looks like there's something cool inside the ice. It's a mystery pyramid. And it's filled with blocks. Of course, it doesn't hurt to think outside the blocks. We're whipping up our own block car. But who needs a minifig? We can drive it ourselves. After all, we've got a need for speed. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's always a bigger car. Well, it's time to go back to basics. I think what our car really needs is a sturdy backbone. Add some heat to loosen these bones. Of course, a car's gonna need some metal. And what's more metal than some aluminum foil? Next, we're gonna need some modeling clay. Smoosh it, flatten it, and use it to customize your car. Let's stick to the front part. We want to show off those bones. While we're at it, add some minute details. We're breaking it down to the nuts and bolts. Grab some modeling tools. A ballpoint will make some great patterns. Next up, glue some seashell spikes along the spine. Don't worry, we didn't forget the end. Hey, who turned off the lights? Better. You know, that torch could make a great scorpion tail. Especially when we add some more spikes. Of course, the pink is a little out of place. When it comes to bones, white is traditional. But who needs tradition? We're going metallic. Let's throw on some finishing touches while we're at it. Yeah, rust red really suits that jaw. Careful, there's paint on that. Ooh, this box has got some teeth to share. It's all right. Nails will make for an even sharper set of teeth. We're gonna need some engines on the side. Some tires will really get us going places. Uh, deodorant? That can always come in handy. But not for the obvious reasons. We can use it for the car. Make a hole and add some wire. The right spark will help light the way. Careful now, you don't want to give him heartburn. Our car needs to be in shape to hit the roads. With repairs this cool, you'll want to break your car more often. Skibbity toilet, and he's got some rotten teeth. But it's nothing our remote controlled car can't take care of. It's got a need for speed, so I keep out of its way. Huh, our new friend's given me an idea. Cut the string and grab that tooth. I think we've earned a treat. Hold on, that's no lollipop. 
<laughs> but it's just the thing for our brand new drill. Keep the pattern going. Sand the rings into shape. Spray on some paint to keep it monochrome. Plus shine. It's just the thing to give our car some edge. Strap on a cage on top. Now for something with a little bite. Break off a piece and cover it up with white clay. We're whipping up a new toilet. Don't forget the hole. Looks like we're gonna have to fill it up too. <laughs> what? While we're at it, we need a tank on back. A good plumber is always in demand. Especially one who's an electrician on the side, too. Our toilet's gonna need some special shields. We'll need a nice shape with a strong, sturdy texture. Line the jewels up in a pattern, like bolts. Now add some surface primer to help give it a metallic look. But why settle for silver when you can go for the gold? Just add a few finishing touches and place on top of the wheels. Now let's make something for the front wheels. Add some more primer. And we want the colors to match. Next, let's add some things to keep our rider safe. Add a nice shield right in front. Add some color. And thanks to our levers, it's a convertible. Next, use that cup to make an engine on back and fill it up. Careful, I don't think that's ice cream. Or even a cone. But we can still put them to use. Trace the bottom. It'll create a shape that'll fit right inside our new headlights. Next, the tires could use a little extension too. Trim the sticks into shape and cover with paint. Get those engines ready, cause our car's ready to hit the road. Let's just take one last look around. Yeah, everything's in check. It's time to show off what a custom paint job can do. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Let's take half of the car and make new one. Well, she's certainly not going that way. Let's add another car. Let's saw it up. We only need half of it. Well done. Now let's glue it to the other half. Well, let's test it. 
Wow! The car is going. Oops! Something went wrong. Okay, we'll fix that. Let's make a wooden frame to stiffen the car body. and also make wooden wheels. Well, let's test it. Let's see if he drives through the obstacle or not. Yeah, he did it! Oh, no! It's stuck! Let's improve our car! I make a roller and install it! Cut the pipe! I make plugs. Done! Install the roller on the car. Let's see how it works. Oh no! The roller didn't help with the obstacle. Hmm, what's to come up with? I'll make caterpillars for the car. Install 2.5 LB wheels. Let's take LED strip as the material. Insert wooden sticks for bonding. Done! Let's install the caterpillar on the car. And let's check it out. The car moves very confidently. Cheers! The car ran over the obstacle. High obstacle test. Well, the height of 4.5 inches is insurmountable for a car. Let's make the next upgrade. I dismantle the car frame. Let's make the wheels bigger. Done! Let's also add front wheel drive.
connecting the wiring. Oh, the caterpillars are coming off. Let's make limiters. Okay, let's test it. Oh no! The car flipped over. Okay, then let's do rollover car. Let's look at how it works. It's perfect. We made an all-terrain machine. Did you like the video? Like it and subscribe to the channel to watch many other cool crafts.